In the Vedic systems of yoga and Ayurveda, there are flows of life force energy that go in five different directions. They're referred to as vayus. This is the element of air and space element, uh, where the channels of the body, the blood vessels, the spinal column, the spaces in our joints and in our GI tract, these are um, influenced by and greatly impacted by the direction of prana, this life force energy that flows. And when we have overscheduled lives, when we have a lot of irregularity in our eating schedule, in our sleeping schedules, in our exercise schedules, is when we start those early stages of pathogenesis and become in a state of dis-ease. And one of the most important directions of these flows is the downward flow direction, what we refer to as the apana vayu. This is a subtype of the vata dosha in Ayurvedic medicine, and it's responsible for keeping us grounded and tethered to the gross world uh, <clears throat> at all times so that we can go about our business with stability and with um, some fortitude, right, with some stamina for what is life and some strength to go along with it. And so the other direction, the opposite direction is Udana Vayu, the upward flow. And this is a current you could consider. There are all of these five directions. You could consider them the body's currents and how our organs and systems communicate with one another and how consciousness itself unlocks this self-healing energy we refer to as shakti. And that tetheredness of a panavayu and that downward flow with a properly balanced udanavayu of upward flow that gives us inspiration, motivation, creation, and the ability to express our needs and desires and feelings and ideas. We want to balance these two directions especially. There are others, but in this video, I really want you to understand Udana Vayu and Apana Vayu, the up and downward flow of this life force direction, and how that impacts, how our lifestyle impacts those um, directional flows. And when we have an obstacle in that flow is when we have pain, always. When we have stagnation, we have pain. And my work as a massage therapist, Ayurvedic health coach, and yoga specialist is to lead you out of the fear of chronic pain, lead you out of the chronic pain patterns with a skillful use of lifestyle choices in diet, in fasting, in exercise, and self-care rituals from Ayurveda, yoga, and massage to bring vitality in for decades to come. So... So again, if you have a overpacked schedule, if you have a lot of irregularity in your meal times, exercise routines, nighttime routine, routines, when you wake up in the morning, all of these primal habits of the yogis that prevent and reverse autoimmune autoimmune disease and that chronic silent inflammation that is affecting so many of us now. In fact, three out of five adults in the world globally are dying from chronic disease. And the root of disease in its early stages is an imbalance in these directional flows of values. So you can simply make one meal a day your main meal midday at a regular time. You can start to work toward a strong night hygiene and getting to bed by 8, 8.30 during the deep winter months. You can start to cultivate small incremental improvements, a Kaizen approach, which I use in my coaching program and work with my clients to make it sustainable and to make it accessible and reliable. So if you'd like to know more Feel free to reach out. I'll put a link below to schedule a free strategy session with me and let's talk about your values. And you know, in our modern world right now, modern mainstream culture, 
we are moving at a very rapid pace and we simply just don't have enough bandwidth to process all of the sensory input and overload that we experience on a daily basis. And as such, these directional flows become haywired and stagnant or flow in the wrong directions. And we start to experience things like bloating and poor digestion and insomnia and anxiety or depression. And so one really effective way that was the beginning of my personal Ayurveda practice in managing these values was self-massage with warm oil every morning before I start my day and get in the shower and do my morning routine. This simple act of massaging warm oil onto my body in smooth, long strokes over my long bones and circles over the joints, I was able to experience what it was like to have steady energy all day long. That was a breakthrough for me in my personal practice and was the first six months of my personal Ayurveda practice, long before I went to school to become a professional clinician, uh, practitioner as a body worker, specialist in Panchakarma therapies and the like. This was just my first go of Ayurveda in my personal life. And it was so impactful to have that much more energy and to have the containment of my own life force to be more skillfully directed to the things, projects, and people that matter to me most. So I'll put some helpful links down below uh, how to give yourself an oil massage, referred to as Abhyanga, and experiment. Let me know how it goes and see how your energy shifts and how your body's currents can be more skillfully used to your advantage.